Hi, I'm Rick from Marathon Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your new Mavic 2 from the box to the air. Now, um, it will come up with another warning. What this is, is the database of the no-fly zones. There are certain areas that you can't fly, like airports, sports stadiums, monuments, things like that. They're constantly being updated. So there are basic DJIs asking you to update that. I'm just going to ignore it now because I've done it all before. Right, the next part we need to do before we fly. Now, as you can see, you can go fly, but up here it's warning you that you're not on the latest firmware and it's a good idea to be on the latest firmware. Now, I've got a little bit rule of school. Um, if you've been flying your craft, and DJI alerts you that there's a new firmware update, what I tend to do is I tend to sit in the wall for a couple of weeks. Keep an eye on social media, check no one else is having an issue with the latest firmware because if they are, DJI will correct it. But rather than you being kind of dogged with that, bugged firmware for a couple of weeks. I tend to sit on the fence, give it a couple of weeks, let other people try it, and if no one's reporting any issues, then come back and do it. Uh, so we wanna hit on the uh, update the firmware. So it'll come up here, you've got a whole, uh, normally it will list uh, what will be in the um, the actual update. In here it's telling you as well that you need a certain amount of power, 40% battery power. You don't wanna go in flat during an update or you could brick it. So we just wanna go download. So what it's gonna do here is actually going to download the um, firmware from Tinternet into the phone. And once it's in the phone, it then in turn can update the craft. So let's have a look. Now, depending on the update, this will depend on A, how long it's gonna to take to, um, how long it's gonna to take to uh, update. But we're just gonna let that go just now. I'm just gonna pause that. Okay, dokie, so we're almost there. Now this is the first part because as you can see up here, we're updating the aircraft. And you also notice there's an RC firmware update as well. That's a controller. You don't necessarily have updates for all of them. Another one I'm going to point out as well is the batteries actually run on firmwares too. So sometimes if there is a firmware update for the battery, what you will find, it will tell you to do a firmware update. You will do it. And then what will happen is you'll put another battery in and it will say that it needs to update the battery again, uh, update the firmware again. You'll be wondering, well, I and, uh, don't understand because I just updated the uh, firmware and it's simply that the battery needs updated. It won't be a big update and it will not take very long. As you can now see that the update is now, uh, sorry, the firmware is now updating. So we're gonna go through the same sort of thing again as you see we're sitting at 4%. So while you're doing that, you can do other things more important things like eating these lovely sweeties uh, yummy yummy now you'll hear the bat the, the fans come on in the drone it's just cooling itself down so don't worry about that now is the why that's updating I'm just going to touch on a couple of things again um, if you feel like you're learning something here and you feel like I've done a good job and you want to support me, you can do it in a few different ways. You can certainly like the video. That tells me that I'm doing the right thing. Subscribe to the channel. YouTube loves that and it stops them cutting me off. Also as well, a couple of other ways. Uh, if you go down to the description, there'll be a couple of links if you haven't already bought your Mavic 2 and you do want to buy it. If you're in the UK, or the EU, you can actually buy direct from me because I am a DJI dealer and I have been for since 2012, one of the first ones in the UK. Um, if you're not and you want to buy direct from DJI, you can, there'll be an affiliate link in the description. It costs nothing to you, but DJI gave me a bit of a kickback and that is what I use to supplement the purchasing of these drones. As I can tell you now, any revenue that comes from YouTube wouldn't even scratch the surface on what drones actually cost. And remember, when I dig a drone out of stock and I make these videos, it's instantly secondhand. I cannot sell it for retail price. And the margins are so low and tight because DJI runs it that way um, that we will ultimately take a loss. Another thing you can do as well if you want is I do have a patronage page the link will also be in the description if you go down there link through from a little as a dollar 
you could basically give me a tip every month for like a buck if you feel like I'm doing the right thing. Even if you just want to maybe jump in for a couple of months, a couple of dollars, it all helps out, all goes back into the pot. Because the, the drone market isn't quite what it used to be for small independent dealers. Since the big, huge, massive box shifters have gotten involved, it has pretty much killed it off for all the small dealers. And a lot of the small independents that got DJI where it was today, um, in the UK have all but either gone on to do other things or they've just disappeared, they've gone bust because DJI has just moved its attention entirely away from small independents and gone into the big chains. That's all their interest is, just shipping num shifting numbers and small dealers like us do struggle quite a bit. I dare say ultimately I will probably succumb to it as well and no longer do drones or these how-to videos. But uh, while there is still meat on the bone, I will still keep bashing these videos out so what are we at we're at 60 percent so i will just pause the video otherwise i'm gonna forget about things to say and i'll keep clapping my hands which will no doubt annoy you okay so we're almost there we're sitting at 97 percent as you'll hear fan on the drone coming back on again just to keep things cool so if you do hear the drone restarting during the firmware updates again it's nothing to worry about it is perfectly normal come on last bit one percent come on you can do it sometimes it sits at 99 percent for quite a while I've also seen it sometimes, not on a Mavic, but on a Phantom 4 ones, uh, where it actually sat at 99%, never ever finished, and it went on forever. Eventually what I had to do is I had to switch the craft off, which is not a good idea. When I switched it all back on, it had actually updated. You can hear it doing that final restart on the craft again. So that should be it finishing off the firmware because it wants to turn off and on again. It's kind of like, you know, when you update your software on your computer and then to finalize it, we'll say turn the computer off and then back on again just to reload it all up. Nice. As you can see now, it's now moved on and it's now the um, controller that is now updating. So we're going to go through the same thing again. I'm going to pause the video again because there's no point in you waiting. It's typically a much quicker update though, but I'll just pause this and we'll come back. Okay, so right at the end, I've now got the update complete button. So I'm just going to click on there. This is what we're looking for. Green bar at the top. We're all up to date and the go fly. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want to support me and bring you more videos, you can do a few things. You can either certainly like and subscribe the video, share it with your friends.